copies to him to the version of Kazan. Pantakyan 1. Our Lady of Kazan, most blessed and all holy, venerate your glorious icon, which was brought to Russia from Constantinople in the 13th century. You are our treasure, Virgin Mary, and where our treasure is, our heart is. Your, work, your wonder-working icon is a precious fortune, a wealth of intercession for the godly-minded who bow before you as we do today amid the agonizing events of our own time of troubles. In humility, we therefore declare, rejoice, Virgin of Kazan, protectress of the repentant and merciful. Ikos one. We flee to you, Mother of God of Kazan, and beg you to save us from the Tatars of our time and from all enemies of the Holy Church. May their cruel yoke not be upon us, no matter the number of our sins which we now put behind us. For today we celebrate your icon and return to you in repentance. Receive us, even as your Son, Jesus Christ, received the penitent woman who wept at his feet, that we may thrive in your fearlessness and bring you these praises. Rejoice in perishable wealth of the persecuted. Rejoice in during prosperity that cannot be plundered. Rejoice in rival treasure of true believers. Rejoice in shakable courage that will not be silenced. Rejoice cause of gladness even in the time of troubles. Rejoice cause of cheerfulness for the queen of heart. Rejoice reason for hope even in the gloomiest hour. Rejoice reason for confidence in the course of salvation. Rejoice conqueror of the anguish of sinfulness. Rejoice vanquisher of the agony of time and place. Rejoice stronghold of truth. Rejoice guardian of righteousness. Rejoice virgin of Kazan, protectress of the repentant and merciful. Pantakian 2. The centuries advance, holy version of Kazan, yet your intercession is ageless and your blessings are perpetual. The city of Kazan was, was destroyed by fire in the 16th century, but your glorious icon was hidden and kept safe from the ravages of this world and from the corrosion of times passing. Nothing and nobody can impede the intentions of the Mother of God, and we therefore implore you to preserve us from unfaithfulness during our time of troubles. In thanksgiving for your valor and spiritual battle, we say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Ecos 2. Your hidden icon was located through the visionary dreams of Matrona, a ten-year-old girl who said the icon was buried beneath the ashes of calamity, saved from the Tatars, and all atrocities committed under the guise of justice and morality. Matrona and her mother dug up the icon from beneath a burned-down house, and its original beauty had been miraculously preserved. Blessed Virgin of Kazan, we entreat you to honor us also with your immaculate presence, that we may bring rightful praises to you. Rejoice, for your icon was planted in a fertile place. Rejoice, for your image then produced new fruit. Rejoice, for your purity remained unspoiled. Rejoice, for your triumph then touched many lives. Rejoice, bold against the destruction of faith. Rejoice, hom holiness above the cinders of wrongdoers. Rejoice, blessed virgin not hidden from the virtuous. Rejoice, heavenly face not consumed by horrible fire. Rejoice, strength of sobriety. Rejoice, splendor of sanctity. Rejoice, evil of liberation. Rejoice, lioness of protection. Rejoice, version of Kazan, protectress of the repentant and merciful. Patakion 3. When young Matrona told the archbishop that she had dreamed about your icon, blessed Theotokos the archbishop disregarded her. He did not believe the words of a little girl, nor did he believe in your protection of Christians or your miraculous ways. Help us, Holy Mother of God of Kazan, to emulate the simple faith of a child. In like manner, we beseech you to intercede for our country and our cities that we may overcome carelessness and complacency, and thereby we continually say, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Ecos 3. After Matrona and her mother dug up the glorious icon, and the archbishop saw it with his own eyes, he then repented of his lack of faith. Christians, let us also repent as we look upon the icon of the Virgin of Kazan, and let us weep like the penitent woman who is forgiven much. Countrymen, let us take. Countrymen, let us again take upon ourselves the yoke of Christ, which many of us deserted under the weight of time and the struggles of the world. For Christ is gentle and meek. He has given us his own mother as an intercessor, and therefore it is fitting that we bring praises to her today. Rejoice, trustworthy protectors of the repentant. Rejoice, assured benefactors of the merciful. Rejoice, heavenly patroness of God-loving cities. Rejoice, dual mediatress of spiritual warriors. Rejoice, for you fear not, but the demons shudder. Rejoice, for you err not, but the worldly plummet. Rejoice, for you never sin, but the enemy burns. Rejoice, for you never betray, but the ungodly divide. Rejoice, for you uplift men of penitent men and women. Rejoice, for you uphold faithful mothers and children. Rejoice, for you inspire soldiers of Christ. For you rejoice, for you encourage bishops and priests. Rejoice, Virgin of Kazan, protectress of the repentant and merciful. Kontakian 4. Your glorious 
icon was taken to the church of St. Nicholas by the Archbishop himself, for such was the fruit of his repentance and the consequence of your victory over sin. A holy virgin of Kazan, when the icon was placed in the church, you immediately gave aid to a blind man. You opened his eyes and he be you opened his eyes and he beheld your pure beauty and your triumphant rescue and he said Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Equals four. Blessed Mother of God of Kazan, your icon made a journey to other people and churches as well as copies of it, which were also miraculous. Saint Sergius of Radnors, who appeared in a vision to Saint Arsenius, encouraged the Muscovite people to pray to you in order to be saved from oppression and woes. We also pray to you from our churches, which still stand in this time of chaos, and from the refuge of our homes to be spared from conflict or to overcome all conflict with your holy aid. We bring you to visit us in our distress, that we may unceasingly bring places to you, rejoice for you, heal our sicknesses of soul, rejoice for you, cure our blindness to holiness, rejoice for you, beckon us to true spirituality, rejoice for you, call us to a life of prayer, rejoice for you, lead us to right worship, rejoice for you, show us the way to a sacramental life, rejoice for you, bless our homes with your icons, rejoice for you, hear our supplication in the night, rejoice for you, understand the troubles we encounter, Rejoice for you, strengthen us to battle. Rejoice for you, bring us water in the desert. Rejoice for you, give us shelter amid world wars. Rejoice, Virgin of Kazan, protect us to the repentant and merciful. Dakyan 5. We see that you have always been a resolute support to those who walk on the straight path, but inevitably incur the hardships of time and place. Most Holy Theotokos, many of us are born into situations which are largely beyond our control and not to our advantage. Yet you are attentive to our nakedness, and we commiserate with our pain. You seek us out, even in our ignorance of, of your care. And you lead us to ultimate victory over all manifestations of misery. We flee to you now, for we recognize your radiance reaching out to us, and we say, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Equals five. Be to our advantage, O Virgin of Kazan, be the defender of those who are born to sorrow and cast into troubles. Be for us the sanctuary we always wish for, our fortification against invasions of soul and sabotage of spirituality, a gateway into the life of prayer and to the imitation of Christ our Lord. See us even if we do not see you. Find us that we may find you beneath the ashes of our grief and beyond all desolation. For this cause we humbly offer you praises. Rejoice, knower of truth, rejoice, revealer of light, rejoice, giver of strength, rejoice, builder of holiness, rejoice in corruptible richness, rejoice in disrupt rejoice in destructible glory, rejoice untarnished purity, rejoice unblemished beauty, rejoice extinguisher of wickedness, rejoice abolisher of worldliness, rejoice approver of deceit, rejoice exposer of treachery, rejoice virgin of Kazan, protectress of the repentant and merciful. Contakion six. In this time of troubles, people are fraught with a myriad of forces which pretend to be beneficial to mankind and civilization. Money is preferred over mercy, progress is valued more than prayer, fantasy is a substitute for faith, and egotism is more attractive than goodness. Human psychology is thereby discolored and distorted, such that unwholesome agitators are considered heroes, and upright Christians are regarded as haters. O Holy Mother of God of Kazan, light our way forward through the tangled ropes of society that we may always worship the true God and say, Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Equals six. This should be a time of lamentation for our own sins and for the crumbling of our country and cities. And for people all over the world who are crushed by ungodliness, let us kneel like the penitent woman filled with repentance and then let us rise and confess Jesus Christ before the experts and authorities, the polished and cunning, the comfortable and gratified, and we shall be voices in the wilderness of the modern world. We begin now by singing praises to the wonderful Virgin Mary who truly prospers those who love her. Rejoice for you convert our agony into a garden of fragrant flowers. Rejoice for you transform our misery into a meadow with sparkling brooks. Rejoice for you transfigure our woes into hope and charity. Rejoice for you change our distress into peace and prayer. Rejoice for we give thanks for your incomparable mediation. Rejoice for you unceasingly intercede though we know it not. Rejoice for the centuries pass by, but you remain constant. Rejoice for worldly rulers fade away, but you endure to the end. Rejoice that we may rejoice because of you. Rejoice that we may always behold you. Rejoice that every person may be subject to you. Rejoice that all the earth may bow before you. Rejoice, Virgin of Kazan, protectors, the repentant and merciful. 
on Dakyon 7. Our Lady of Kazan, undefiled and undefeated, we repent of our sins, pride, vanity, greed, arrogance, betrayal, entitlement, resentment, slander, and every unholy thought and act. At the root of our unhappiness are unbelief and lack of faith, for we silently consent to the false reasoning of the worldly. Most holy Theodogus, preserve us from these negative influences and direct our eyes to your glory, second, that we may keep your purity before us in all that we say and do. With trust in your guidance, we say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Eco 7. Let us not succumb to the city. Let us not succumb to the critics of Christianity. 